You've already played yours. Okay. Yep. Res. Oh, damn, dog. That's I got like a lucky that. <laughs> that's a really <laughs> good opportunity there. Um man. Shit. Okay. I don't even mind if you counter pick. You do what you need to you do. You go first, and I'm yeah. not even going to reveal my card cuz it's central okay. to my to my thesis that I don't we'll reveal. Play along. My card. I feel like I got a pretty good deal on this one. Okay, Nick, go ahead. Why don't you start here? Uh, 3 2 one, go. All right, this is maybe not a commonly known fact for those of you out there, but as far as in the argument of which is sexier, Rez, I would posit, is a very sexy game. Not only do you play as a naked person flying through space shooting digital objects, uh, but it's the only game that I'm aware of that's actually had a sex toy made for it. So there's a vibrator that you can masturbate with while you play this game. I don't know if you can play it, actually. It probably just plays itself. But regardless, you can achieve penetration with this game, which... I don't know what the hell Northern Lion's going to do to counter that. That's my argument. You got another 30 seconds if you want it. Yeah, I don't need it. All but... right. All right. <clears throat> All right, Nick. Uh, three, two, one, go. I have saved the reveal of my card until now. I would like to argue that pole position is a <laughs> sexier game than res. I have a number of central points that I will try to work through in my remaining 48 seconds. The first one, which is quite obvious, is the name. Pole Position. It's sexy because it's a pun, which is the sexiest form of wordplay. It's a double entendre and an innuendo. Also, if you would be so kind as to mouse over my card and hold left alt, you may see this gentleman is looking quite dapper. And you can tell, even though he's got sunglasses on, that his confidence exudes in a way that is uh, subtle and 90% of communication is nonverbal. His confidence is very sexy. Also, auto racing is one of the sexiest sports. You know, you ever play Cruise in USA? You win a race and that cheerleader comes in and hands you the trophy and also pushes her bosom together to give you a view. And Rush is a great movie, uh, and there's a lot of sexual intercourse in it, and it's based on pole position thematically. So I think pole position is the sexier game. Props for cleverness there. Pole position has, it sounds like, innuendo. Oh, I know. I figured it out. <laughs> All right. I'm um, curious to hear where we go with this one. This is res versus pole position. Oh, I agree. The bullshit arguments are the best ones. Start the poll. Nick, I had an extra blank card. What would you have used if you didn't have res on a... What's the sexiest game blank card? Just in general. Yeah. In a way, I was uncomfortable playing the blank card because I'm like, shit, man, this says a lot about me. Well, <laughs> things that jump to mind are BMX triple X because right? yeah. boobies. Uh, Playboy the Mansion because oh, I don't okay. know. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry, but that's just stupid. So, I don't know, probably one of those, maybe. But yeah. those are kind of the obvious ones. I don't know, I was going with, like, that or, like, fighting game or something, but that seems, like, too easy. Yeah, a little hanging fruit there. Yeah, I would not want to argue why Dead or Alive is a sexy game. Right, just yeah. just awkward. Like, Dead or Alive, <laughs> beach, Extreme Beach Volleyball, you'd be like, well, there's, like, lots of boobs in it. <laughs> Honestly, Rez was just, like, just a gift. <laughs> I don't know if there's a card. If, if the arguments were the same, I don't think there's a card that beats Rez. I don't know how you do it. Right. It had a vibrator made for it. <laughs> you might be able to make the Witcher work or something, I guess. The way you beat Rez is to not know that there's a vibrator. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to close the poll. Nick, I think we can both be happy with these results. You got a clear win, 62 to 38. But I'm, I'm happy that the argument was absurd enough to at least siphon a few points yeah. off there. Yeah, that was an exciting little moment we had. All right. Uh, is it my draw of the question card? Or? That was round four. So, yeah, yep. it should be your draw. All right. What do we have here? Which, which has better characters? All right. Uh... Uh, <laughs> like, every card in my hand is mechanics-focused, except one that I haven't played. Oh, shit. Well, this one clearly cannot be it. Can you see this, by the way? Uh, yeah, but I have to turn to see what the All hell right. it says. I'm going to put it back in my hand then. Oh. Um, I have to go. I have to go with this. 
Are we not revealing again, or are you just waiting for mine? I'm waiting for... Oh, this is not the one I wanted. Sorry. Let me reshuffle this. Um, I'm not going to reveal until your card comes out. There's two options here, but one of them is going to expose my ignorance of it. So I'm going to go with the one where I think I can talk about it a little better. Here you go. All right. Ico? Yeah. And Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. All right. This is like an okay matchup, I guess. Sony, man. All right. So this is for you, Nick. Three, yeah. two, one, go. All right, and the argument of which is better uh, for characters' uh, sake, we're doing Uncharted 2 versus Ico. I'm going to say Ico is the winner here because we've got a very narrow scope as it goes to characterization and story development. We're dealing with two central characters, one of which is the leader, one of which is the follower, and the second character has almost no characterization for the entire game, which means we can kind of really focus on... Uh, kind of projecting the player as the character and the decisions that you make feel like they have a more grandiose scope. Uh, so you're kind of leading this lady through the game little by little, and you feel like you're the one that's really in control here, and that lets you really kind of put your head into the space of this environment, because that is also, in a way, one of the characters. Uh, the environment and the mysterious, kind of enigmatic nature of what you're dealing with plays a big role in there as well. So Sometimes being ambiguous actually leads to development in a way, I'm going to say, for that one. All right. GG. <sighs> that was Nick arguing for Ico. I'm going to argue. Three, two, one. I'm going to argue that Uncharted 2 Among Thieves uh, has the better characters between this and Ico. And what I won't argue is that uh, Ico is not narratively significant. However, as Nick mentioned, a lot of the interaction is uh, subtle, nonverbal. It focuses a little bit more on the emotional side of things as opposed to the dialogue. And I think that puts it at a little bit of a disadvantage because Uncharted and Uncharted 2, but the series specifically, are very cinematic games. You know, they're games that have a lot of dialogue and that gives you a lot of opportunities for character development. You have people like Nathan Drake that are showing up, kind of an Indiana Jones knockoff who develops his own personality throughout it. People are very attached to this character, more than I think they're attached to any characters that exist in Ico. Uh, not to say that, again, it's not uh, emotionally significant. Also, they're making an Uncharted film, which I think, you know, we can all talk about uh, the Hollywoodization of video game movies, but at the same time, it definitely shows that there is a belief that this game has the kind of characters that can propel a, a two-hour story forward. So that's why I think... This has the better story, better characters. Whoops. All right. I didn't like this one. <laughs> we'll try it here. I'm gonna Ico and Uncharted. I thought I was gonna have a bit of a better go at that one until I started, and it kind of just fell apart. <laughs> it's half the fun. I took two extra seconds, chat. I'll admit. I don't care about that. You take what you need. All right, I go. You're not like ten seconds over. Uncharted. Uncharted. I've never played that. You put the sharp back in. That's probably what you should do if you can. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Welcome. Did you see that? What happened? Tomo tried to escape. Tomo, Tomo tried to escape. Yeah. Why would you want to get out of here, buddy? You're living the dream life. So clear outside, it's like desert. It's a desert. Oh my god, it's so hot. Cause he treated like an oil well. I just accidentally drew a question card, sorry. Oh, so that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I drew that one as well. Um, Uncharted has won this. 67 right, to 33, enough. but it was close. No, it's not that close. That's close-ish. It's not a, you know, Walter Mondale collapse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'm going to throw out this finesse card. See, oh, well. Thank you, table. <laughs> I need to take this one. All right. Here we go. Which is funnier? Which is funnier? Wait, I got to look up the metagame discard rules, man. Why? We kind of got this under control. What do you need? Where's discard? Do you want to put the cards back in? I don't like a lot of my cards. <laughs> Which is funnier. Discards? I hate yeah. having to use this card for this. I feel like I could come up with so many better arguments. 
Why are they debating out in the woods? This is just a standard camping trip, man. <laughs> I would probably actually do that. All right, Nick. I can't make any argument hardly for anything but this, so I guess I got to pick this. Oh, there a card I understand. Nick has chosen Little Big Planet. I have chosen Zork. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. So I am going to argue that Zork is the funnier game between this and Little Big Planet. And again, I'm going to take a uh, kind of mechanics focus here. Little Big Planet is a funny game. The funniness is emergent, though. It's not the game that's funny. The game provides an engine for the players to do funny things to one another. Things like the level editor do help out and the level design to begin with, but mostly it's the emergent gameplay that comes when you, you know, step on your friend's head and push him down a hole that he can't get out of, or, you know, working together to solve a ridiculous puzzle of your own design. Zork, on the other hand, is a game that is intentionally and deliberately funny. I mean, even the card itself talks about it. Look, there's only despair and hilarity that exists within the blackness of the portrait on this card. It also was uh, the prototype for basically adventure games of the future. Again, much like Super Mario Brothers was so influential to platformers, Zork was so influential when it came to point-and-click adventure games, and a defining characteristic of point-and-click adventure games is their humor, if you look at stuff like Full Throttle, Day of the Tentacle, Curse of Monkey Island. That's why I think Zork is funnier. Alright. Alright, All right, Nick. Three, two, one, go. All right, so my counter-argument for this is actually kind of based on the crux of what Ryan just said, where essentially emergent humor is, in my opinion, the better humor in this case. Uh, what we're dealing with is a physics-driven game with a lot of customization options that puts the player in control of how you want to have that fun. Uh, you actually even have emotes. You can make Sackboy's tongue stick out in Little Big Planet. You can grab people and shove them around. And there's all sorts of bizarre traps and silly setups that people can make with the level editor. And I've seen and played hundreds and hundreds of them uh, that give you those options. So essentially, if you're into madcap kind of physical-based humor versus snarky humor, I think obviously Little Big Planet has to be the obvious choice there. And in this case, I think it probably ends up being slightly the funnier one. All right. LBP versus Zork. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put LBP. Little that's big fun. planet because I think that's better than having. I don't know. Maybe it's easier to spell it with the spaces, but eh, Zork. All right. Three, two, one, go. Not Smork. That's those won't count. <laughs> Clever though. I never really played Zork actually. Was it the one that started your, like, in front of a mailbox? That's a very good question, Nick. I guess you haven't either. I have, um, now that the results are coming in, I will admit that I've never played Zork. All right, you did a good job. Um, I'm going to take a moment. <laughs> Do you want to have, like, uh, some Geneva Convention shit? We're getting close to the end here. Sorry. I'm going to discard all of the cards that I have never played. Okay, you just want to do a redraw then. Mm-hmm. Am I obligated to do a redraw? You're not obligated, but you can if you want to. Can I poker style sub some out? You you don't have to do a full redraw. Okay. You, you could just do a partial redraw if you're interested. So I'm I'm taking two. Uh get rid of Okay. One, yes. two, three, four. Okay, I can deal with these. These are these are better cards for me. All right, that one's done. 64 to 36 in favor of Little Big Planet. Cool. <laughs> oh, baby. Yes, I just dropped Ultima 3. I'm sorry. I couldn't have done any kind of argument for that either. I also had um, I had Ultima 3, Zork, like a lot of stuff I've never played. Yeah, I had to get rid of uh, Diner Dash. Okay. Which, I mean, I know, but, like, not well enough to make a lot of arguments about. Civilization 3, I think you'd probably rather have had that. Absolutely. Passage, which I played but don't mm -hmm. remember. Jason Aurora's game. <laughs> and Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, which I played but don't remember enough to really talk about the characters in it. Which is more frustrating to play? Okay. Oh, there's some really good choices here. 
I've got to drop it just so I can say I dropped it. Here All right. Go. Nick has dropped Super Meat Boy. Oh, that's a great design and also an interesting choice. I am going to be rolling Counter Strike. All right, Nick. You're up first. All right. You have one minute starting in three, two, one, go. Which of these two is the more frustrating? We're dealing with Super Meat Boy versus Counter Strike. I'm going to say Meat Boy is much, much more frustrating because we're dealing with a very long, uh, spread out series of levels that get incrementally harder with very twitchy kind of controls. And eventually you're kind of presented with this deluge, like a gauntlet of obstacles that you might not even be able to parse how you're supposed to get around. And then not only that, but you have to figure out how to get your thumbs to uh, appropriately move you know, to the degree that they need to. Uh, with Counter-Strike, you're dealing with a lot of sort of PvP element uh, frustration. In this case, though, you're only dealing with yourself. And I would argue that in this case, overcoming your own brain's limitations and your own hand's dexterity limitations is probably the more frustrating of the two because it's externally uh, not your fault when someone kills you in Counter-Strike for screwing up unless you do something really stupid. Uh, but the levels get extremely difficult in Super Meat Boy. I think everybody knows this. One of the hardest games they've ever made. Done. All right. Now I'll be arguing for Counter Strike. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. There are a lot of reasons why Counter Strike is more frustrating than Super Meat Boy. Let me start with chief amongst them. Super Meat Boy, I'll admit, it gets frustrating at times as you're trying to push your ability past the skill threshold to pass a certain level. But the crux of it is that you can quit whenever you want. Not only do you get matched with cheaters, people who are smurfing way out of your skill level that give you literally no chance to not only win but also get better in Counter Strike, you usually figure that out within the first couple of rounds and then you could be stuck in that match for the next half hour, 45 minutes, or even an hour. It's like a MOBA in that once you're in it, you're in it forever. The torture does not end when you want it to end. What you can do is quit and then ruin your reputation forever, basically, and get banned from competitive matchmaking. Also, of course, you have to deal with the fact that there's latency in Counter-Strike. So you might be the best player in the world if you're saddled with a shitty connection. You will lose, and there's nothing more frustrating than that, you know, not being able to play to the best of your ability. There's a lot of other reasons, but that is why I think Counter-Strike is definitely more frustrating than Super Meat Boy. All right, good battle. All right. Three. Curious to see how this is going to go. I, I didn't even put it in here yet, and I was already doing the countdown. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to say CS, and then... SMB. CS. Play Counter Strike Bird Brain. CS. SMB. Three, two, one, go. Hey, I, I said a lot of other reasons that I won't mention because I was at 59.8 seconds. I did the best I could with the time I had. And also, just because you're presenting an argument doesn't always mean you have to agree with the argument. So it's just sort of an you know intellectual exercise. Mm -hmm. Although I will say, I think Counter Strike is more frustrating. Yeah, and I, I think I agree with you actually. No, you don't have to admit that. I don't, but <laughs> still want to make an argument. <laughs> wow, we're over 500 votes already. People are into that one. Cool. The Zork one, people were like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are a bit more uh, topical, <laughs> I guess. Universal. All right, that's 540 votes. 70% CS, 30% Super Meat Boy. I'll All take right, that one. Up. And this is an, this is probably going to be our last round, and it's for the win or the tie. I'm ahead by one, right? Nick is ahead by one right now. Oh, one second. This is our... Okay, so I picked this one. What is this? Well, I'm definitely not Just playing Just saw Yellow. Game. You didn't get Counter-Strike again, did you? Yeah, I got CSGO this time. No, I got <laughs> oh. I got Adventure. I don't see myself okay. playing Adventure, though. Which is more open-ended? Hmm. 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 Which is more open-ended? All right. You have one? This is probably a cheap card, but I'm going to go for it. Nick has chosen... Oh, shit. <laughs> the metagame. Um, which is more open... Is that the only non-video game that's in this deck? More open-ended. John Madden. What? <laughs> um... I need I need some time to think about this, man. <laughs> I should also choose the metagame. 
<laughs> Whoa. I don't think that's Whoa, stable. thank you. Is it blueberries in a bowl this time? kick got me a Jabba dog, man. Oh, nice. What's on it? It's a uh, pork cutlet and then shredded cabbage and a little bit of Japanese mayo. Sounds pretty sweet. All right, Nick. I'm going to say Minecraft. All right. I'd say that's a fair matchup. Uh, you go first. I get to go first this time. All right. <clears throat> and remember, it is which is more open-ended. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to argue that Minecraft is more open-ended than the metagame. There's a number of axes on which to measure this. For one, physical size of the world. You can walk in any direction you want to. It takes forever to reach the end. Kurt J. Mack has been doing that walk to the end of the earth thing in Minecraft for like five years. It's the only series on YouTube that has more episodes than The Binding of Isaac. It's ridiculous. The game never ends. It's open-ended. The ends are open. Philosophically or mechanically, you can also do whatever you want. It's a true sandbox. You can build things, you can slay monsters, you can build things and then destroy them. There's crafting. You can play it with friends, you can play it with enemies. You can do basically whatever you want. Also, it's very different every time. Despite being self-directed, every time you spawn into the world, it's going to be different. So not only do you have your choice of what to do, but that choice is affected by a pretty much endless string of randomness due to the seed generation of the world. So Minecraft is open-ended not only mechanically, but also thematically as well. That's me. All right. All right. Meta game. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. All right, so in the argument of which is more open-ended metagame versus Minecraft, I think this is not even really a contest here because we're dealing with the physical constraints of code in a computer, whereas one of them is literally a card game. You can make up any rules you want. You don't even have to play it the way that it's designed to be played. You can add more cards to it. You can change the cards. You can rip them up. You can play with 100 people. You can play with no one. Uh, it's... I mean, there's a final boss in Minecraft. This has no final boss. This has no ending. Whether or not you can walk in any direction ad infinitum doesn't matter because it's a game that is basically just a construct of the human mind. I mean, I guess every game is in a way. But in this case, it's bound by the hands of the people playing it at the moment, whereas Minecraft at least has some rules. There's a game world that you can play. Uh, this has no game world. It is just reality. So in this case, I think reality trumps digital. That's my argument. All right. This is the final poll here. We're going to have Minecraft and we're going to have Metagame. Oh my god, people are so rude. Start poll. I'm going to eat tear into this Jappa dog here. Jappa dog, Jappa dog, much too cool for seventh grade. Jappa dog, Jappa dog, get up now. You watch Pepper Ann? You part of the Pepper Ann generation? No, I don't know what that is. Mm, oh well. I watched Alex Mack. She was made out of mercury. Yeah, man. She. I hope she doesn't get cancer or something, because that sounds really bad for your health. When I was they like, tell you not to eat too much tuna, because all the mercury is just made out of it. When I was like 10, I wanted to kiss Alex Mack on the mouth. I felt that way about Clarissa. Mm, mm -hmm. I wanted her to explain it all to me about love. Yeah, man. <laughs> Clarissa Joan... Heart. Nothing I said means anything? Oh, come on. It's delicious. Kate just says Ruka in chat. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Ruka craft. <laughs> Kate, you have to vote for your husband. All right. It's, it's 58 to 42 for Minecraft. Nick, I'm going to propose a tiebreaker. How so? Here's the t We each have six cards left, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to draw one more. Okay. WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games is mine. What's yours? The one I just drew Pac is Pac-Man. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Seven cards. We're going to go for who objectively has the correct answer. First one. Which is more educational? So we're just 
going to choose a card and then vote on it? Or? Not even vote, not even argue. We're going to agree, which is more educational. Uh, I don't find that any of mine are very educational at all. I mean, I played John Madden football. I don't think I can make an argument in any way about any of these. Excuse me? <laughs> That's a good card. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's a tie. It's a tie. You want to flip the table? Hit your, um, what's that? Options. Table flip. All right. I was too weak. I got an achievement, though. Here you go. Try it now. There you go. It's a lot of rage. It was a good idea there for like a minute, but then... Like, what would you have picked out of this list? Okay, I gotta go over there and see. You gotta, like, okay, these have to... How do I... Oh. All right. You got Mortal Kombat, VVVVVV, Defender, Asteroids, Half-Life, Pac-Man, Worms. I'd probably go for Worms with, like, a physics bend to it, like it teaches you about velocity or something like, you know, yeah. momentum, gravity. The kernel that I was working with, and I don't think it was a very good one, was that Mortal Kombat is educational because you could have a discussion about violence. Oh, okay, I can understand Kind that. of a shitty argument, it, though. It turns out this game doesn't out. work that well without the debating. <laughs> That's, like, the whole crux of it. <laughs> right. All right, we're going we're gonna to run three minutes of ads and then come back and play some uh, Action Hank open lobby. Action Hank? If you, if you own Action Hank, you should come play with us. But for now, we'll see you in three minutes. See you soon. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little surprised that I didn't do better with the metagame versus Minecraft argument. I didn't think there was that much BS in that one. I think it's unfair that I got two blank cards. <laughs> I didn't get any. <laughs> For open-ended Minecraft, I was like racking my brain trying to think of like the most action, or the most open-ended game I could come up with. Oh, that but was the best call I would have come up I with, that, so, aside yeah. from that. For, uh, for influential, it was pretty, pretty easy. No, oh, the influential one I almost didn't even want to do an argument on. <laughs> you just won that one straight away. Yeah, it's a fun game. This is delicious. Sounds good. That chewing that you're making, that sounds great. It's like a hot dog, but instead of a wiener, it's like a pork cutlet. I don't even know what that would taste like, but I'd like to try it. It's basically like a sandwich, but it's, it's great, hmm. man. How can they still get to call it a hot dog, then? They don't. Oh. <laughs> they call it a Jaffa dog. A Jaffa dog, right. <laughs> Most open-ended game, life. Yeah, that was kind of my argument, actually. Yo, Jaffa dog has its own Wikipedia article, man. I didn't know that. Hmm. That's amazing. LSA said we we're pros at bullshitting. <laughs> I got your wiener right here, says Kate. Any uh, Anybody watching this living out in L.A.? There's a Jappa Dog sit-down location in L.A. You should go check it is out. The sit down element like a uh, part of the the whole fun. It's just not like a cart. Oh, I thought the cart was just like the way it works. Oh, do I have time to grab a new drink? Mm-hmm. Just run. I'll be right back. A Seattle-style hot dog, sometimes referred to as a Seattle dog, is a hot dog topped with cream cheese that has become popular in Seattle. What a country. What about this one? What's a, um, what's a Texas hot dog on Wikipedia? A chili dog. Oh, why didn't you just, why didn't you say so? What about a bagel dog? A bagel dog is a food item consisting of a full-size or miniature hot dog, Wrapped in bagel-style breading before or after cooking. 
They are similar in concept to a corn dog or pigs in a blanket. They are commonly available for purchase at prepared food concession stands. That's real weird. Montreal hot dog. The Montreal hot dog is one of several variations of hot dog served as a fast food staple at restaurants and diners in Montreal. Back. Montreal hot dog all dress style. It's topped with mustard, chopped onion, fresh coleslaw. That's not that crazy. All right, Nick, I'm going to set up the server. Okay, I'm ready. Delicious. All right. Are we going to go from the top again, or are we going to start somewhere in the middle? I wish I could random. I'll see if I can mm. make that happen. Well, thanks, Von Walt. You say the word. Bagel dogs were the bomb as a kid? You ever have a bagel dog? No. I'd try it, though. It's a hot dog wrapped in bagel-style breading before or after cooking. In case you were I'd not probably aware. put a lot of mustard on that. You put it in it. Yeah. Pretzel dog, too. Oh, my God. Okay, we can have 20 people. Sounds great. How many levels do we have? There's, like, 25 levels. So I'm going to take the first five off. Well, wait. It's, okay. like, 25 times 3. Okay, so I'm going to take the first eight off. So we're going to start Neon World, then? Um, No, but close. Okay. Like, three away. Uh, Nick, the server is called Nick. If you want to join, you're going to join the server called Nick. I don't have a server here. Check it now. There it is. Got it. All right. I'm not encouraging you to necessarily buy Action Hank to play with us, but if you're interested in playing Action Hank, you can do so. With us. It's not a bad deal. I think you'll probably enjoy it if you like this kind of game, I mean. Game's well done. It is well done, man. All right, who? Oh my God, we got a lot got of people in here. A little lag there and kind of messed me up a bit. <laughs> All right, what's your goal, Nick? What is my goal? My goal is to be the fastest here. Yeah, but what? What's your realistic goal, though? Uh, make it into the top eight. All right, I think that's a good goal. I would love top eight, top five, somewhere in there. Broccoli smiles are so number one. I am the lead. Do it again. I hate this And that's level. with lag somehow, I manage that. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is cool, man. I wonder how good we are versus the rest of the world. All these people have some weird-ass costumes, man. Sounds like they've been playing a bit more than us. Perhaps. I'm ranked sixth right now. I didn't even know it showed you that in the top uh, corner. I keep hitting the damn square edge when I go off that lava jump. Yeah, I'm with you. Oh, that one's going to make it, though. There we go. I cannot get on top of that damn platform. <clears throat> Ninth place. That's embarrassing, man. Ooh, one minute, 37 seconds left. I'm still ninth? Nick, how do you do the U-jump? Uh, smallest little tap you can before it, and then try and just slide down in one motion. When I got up the other side of the U, I basically just kind of walked over the edge. Does that help? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see, right. I see, I see, I understand now. Oh, that fucked it. Oh, we're only going to get like two more tracks here. It is pretty awkward when you screw that up. Yeah, when you hit the railing, man. Or just completely fuck it up like that, too. Although that was faster. It was faster to not even go for the railing that time. I didn't expect that. All right. Come on. You got it. You take a little jump right here. Go down. And then up. Oh, it might do it. It might do it. Top seven. <laughs> That's where I wanted to be. Top eight. I wanted to be top eight. I think I'm going to be eight. You're in eighth right now? <laughs> yeah. Come on, we can do it, guys. I believe. Oh, we made a I good pass there. I believe I can there. fly. doesn't mean I can. 
No, I'm ninth now. Oh, and I'm eighth. No, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah! Fifth. Oh. Ugh. Oh, I can live with it, though. That's all right. I'm one of the worst people in this room. Nah, man. You beat, uh, you beat four people. That's a tough course, too. Biz now does not need to get in here and wreck these tools. Because <laughs> he will damn well do that. <laughs> He's really good. Top five is where I want to be. But I guess I'm already there. Oh, ah, fuck it. I do feel like we're playing Meat Boy at the beginning, which is kind of awesome. Dude, I really like uh, having like multiple people all at the same time. This game is like way more engaging when there's more than one person to, to race against. Who would have thought? Certainly not me. Oh, there we go. Oh, I fucked it. That's okay. We can do this. See, I'm fifth, but like a lot of people just did not even do like the first level. Like they, they just like fuck it up and then they're like, okay, I'm just gonna set the best time ever on my next one. They don't finish it until the end. Yep. The dude who came in last, last time is now in first. Weird. That's Must've crazy. hated that track then. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that was not an easy track. Try to get close and your ass will get smacked. My homie Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre have got my back. I'd like to declare a moratorium on that song. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I hear what you're saying, but no. I didn't think I had that power. I just thought I'd give it a shot. Nick, once yeah. the only time that will happen is when we recognize that nothing but a G thing is the best song ever created. I don't think I need to recognize that. It's, it's a fine song. It's not a song, it's a piece, actually. Alright, you said song. Is that gonna go? I was trying to trick you. No, well, he did. <laughs> you were successful, thank you. I need to, like, get myself behind whoever's in first, and then just watch them go. Figure it out, you know? You also watch dogs. I don't have any problems with that game. Strictly speaking. Oh man, fourth place, that's better. Whoa! How do I make this damn T for type go away? Because I want that part of my screen back. I guess I don't get to. Oh my god, I lost so much time in the middle. Ah! Last try, last try. Second last try. If I can make that in one jump, I think my life would be a lot better. You say that. But once you do it, it feels like it takes longer. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Oh, there we go. That's it. Oh, I fucked it. But then I had recovered somewhat. You can do it. It's the last chance anyway. Eighth place? Eighth? Oh, I can't even finish this run. Pretty strong competition, I have to say. Mm-hmm. I agree. Man, that one guy is like a full second ahead of everybody else. And then the rest of us are all like third, well, even second through 10th are like within a half second. Snigglesaw has probably been training all week for this. Great avatar. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Here we go. I guess on the upside where that chat box is, that's where my webcam is. So. There you go. <laughs> I know it, top eight is within my or within my limit, but I only said uh, that when there were, were 20 people in the game. Know your limit, live within it. I like this track a lot. Yeah, I remember. Look at how did they get ahead of us so quickly? Only a couple have gotten ahead of me. Yeah, but that's enough to say they. That was just one. Oh, now it's two again. Dude, I'm catching up to Snicklesaurus. Snicklesaurus is fast. I'm on him, man. Oh, that's. Dude, I love having him as the. Yeah, it's so good having him as the first ghost. <laughs> it's such a huge disadvantage if you're not paired with him. Probably. 
Uh, yeah, All I'm right. still in second right now as a result of the incredible time that he put down. Oh, that's where you jump. You jump on that one. All right. Oh, dude, this is great. Oh my god, I'm eighth. That's when did that happen? Yeah. Can live with that. Good stuff. Okay, it's all right. A little bit behind my time, but that wasn't my time. That was Snickles' time. I was just along for the ride. This is where you jump. You take a little hop here. Gets you a lot of speed. Oh, Nick. I have a new Good top man. time, and it caused me to go down a position. That's rough. I'm ninth. I hate it. Thought it was better than that. No, try again. The stage does look fun, and it is fun. Believe the hype. <laughs> nope. I think the first jump really sets you up. Yeah, I agree with that. And I keep doing it wrong. Oh! I keep falling in time. Oh my god, Snickle Sauce is a new time. Everyone's getting better than us. No, nope. I gotta commit to one of these runs now. How the heck are you supposed to... Like, that first jump, man. I've been trying to navigate it perfectly, and I just can't. Oh, you got a lot of speed, though, with that, uh, that jump at the top, and then you slid down? Yep. That was the intent. I did save a little time on it. What's the average time for this? Is like 20-something? Uh, let's wait a sec. Uh, 24 is the best. All right, let's well, 24.8. then. That's way better. All right. That was awful. And I'm behind. Ninth. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Way behind. Let's do this. Oh, no. I fucked it. I fucked it hard. Yeah. Damn, son. That was some serious competition there. 11th. We're all within a oh second. Oh, my God. That hurts me. We're all within a second. Oh no, we gotta do spaghetti now. <laughs> Which one was spaghetti? This is the one where the camera kept like ah. bashing into the wood blocks. It's kind of awkward. This is not my favorite level. I'm first right now. Wade Wilson's happy to play with the scum. I appreciate that. <laughs> Spaghetti. Snickle sauce, get out to the front so I can experience. I'm actually in the front for some reason. Not on my screen. Oh. Someone got out. There's different tracks? Dude, no, they just run next to each other. Nah, dog. Snickle sauce was on a different track. Okay. I uh, saw wow. it with my own two peepers, man. Maybe, maybe he reset and then I saw him. I thought he was on like some sneaky shit, you know? Oh, I need the Sonic the Hedgehog outfit so bad. You might have it unlocked already. I think you get it in the early game. Oh, I see the other track now. I'm gonna go to that track. That one seems better. Okay, I think a jump there is a mistake. It's all right, still within a decent amount of time. Oh man, spaghetti really opens up when you take the other track. You're fucking with me, Nick. I'm not. He is. It actually lines you up perfectly for that wedge that I used to always bash my tailbone into. I'm a second ahead now because of that other track. How did you get to the other track? I just jumped when it was there. Where is it? Towards the beginning. I can't believe I'm giving you tips. I'm now the new not number one because I just went on that track. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, this, isn't the, this is the same track I've always been on. What? I just got tricked into thinking I was on a new track. All right, well, I can't speak for your situation, but I'm uh, I'm winning right now. No, I'm not. Now I'm number two. How do you get on that sneaky other track, man? Just shows up. Just got to take the, uh, the opportunity when it's there. It's extremely unhelpful. Tried to help. Well, I just jump when it shows up. 
It's a piece of wood. It's a wooden wedge. You'll see it on, like, turn number two. Turn number two, wooden wedge. Just kind of floating up above you, a little, like, air doodle. Oh, I mean, of course you take this way, yeah. That's the other path? It doesn't take you on different other spaghetti land. It definitely it does. It definitely does not. It meets back up, but for a while, the spaghetti's uh, totally different. This guy's high as hell. Not high as hell, it's real. Real and true. I would never lie to you. Proof's in the pudding, I'm number four. Yeah? Enjoy it while it lasts, buddy boy. I know. Shouldn't have jumped there. Ah, shit, he's got me by a, a tenth of a, or a hundredth of a second. <laughs> oh, no, that was 19 hundredths of a second. Still, Ooh. pretty close. Mm -hmm. We were all within a second in a little bit. I assume you found the proper spaghetti path. Bury me with my dong in my mouth. I don't remember this course. Did I like this one? I think I like this one. I think that chat seems empty now because when we were playing the meta game, it was scrolling by at like, you know, one full purge per second because of the people <laughs> voting. Now it's like I'm not gonna say it's like at the same level that it is for uh, Rebirth or anything like Fox. that, but it's uh oh, Snickle Sauce took the bottom path. But I think it's it's more reasonable now. This is like the ma oh I always fuck that one up. This is like the mature part of chat where the the kids have gone to bed on the school night and the parents get to have like a snifter of brandy and talk about you know their income tax payment or something. They're just gonna have sex, man. Parents are always That's doing the, that. The lie. You think they're boring, but they're actually just boning all the time. What else can you do? Read. Oh, that's watch a, The Walking Dead on that's AMC. A close call. Uh, watch Game of Thrones. I'm really bad at this one. I like this level. This is fun. You know you can hit right bumper and, like, do something? No, what? It gives your guy, like, an exclamation point above his head. Oh, I hate that. I'm never using he that He discovers again. Solid Snake. Wasted so much time. Okay, well, I can't be blamed for that. <laughs> it doesn't make any yeah, sense yeah. to blame me for that one. Nope. Seventh. He said we've got to learn. What if you like jump? Do you get any more distance? Not at all. Have you tried low meta yet? Uh, I, I can't get my brain to work for it. Yeah, me either. I want to every time. I'm like, nope, just not going to do it again. All right, I did low meta this time. I hope it works out for you. It saved me a half second. <laughs> that's like, that's a huge difference. Good lord. That's pretty wild. That's what I was saying the other day. Like, that's kind of a punishment going the top way. Yeah. Because you fucked up by not jumping at the right moment, so they're going to make it slower. Yeah, but I I don't know. I just thought, like, it was a decoy. The red herring. Exactly. Yeah, it seems to be the right way. It is the correct way. I got some green off of that, too. Damn, son. Pretty dank. Oh, sixth, but there's one more time. I don't know okay, how these guys it. get that great time, man. Gotta nail it. No, I went high. Oh, I went high. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, that's a huge little bit of speed there. Nah, I'm fucked. Me too. Eight. Damn, man. We're all, like, really close here. Jump over the last section, NL? I didn't even consider that. 11th. Snickle sauce, man. Can you just jump over the edge at the end? Listen to wife? What did wife say? Wife lion. Which one's this? I'm, nah, I'm second. All right, let's do this. Now, now I'm first. I'm ready. 
Honeymooning is exhausting. Like, it's supposed to be relaxing, but my god, it's not. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, Kate, there's the light that was at the movie theater. Did we play this one yesterday? Not sure yet. Oh, I think we did. That looks familiar. Yeah, we definitely did. I remember that little hitch yeah. in it. Yeah, Will Smith's 2004 crossover hit. Whoa, this guy's on a different track. He got really far ahead on this other track. They're really flat and got in their walls. Oh shit, Nick, you got a huge lead there at the end. For the very first time in my life, I managed to execute that freaking angle. I couldn't do that all yesterday. Got my first try now. Fuck. How do you get on other track, man? I don't know, the guy did it immediately though. I know, right? Oh, you gotta go top track there, what am I doing? Nope. Nope. <laughs> exactly. Mad Max was so fucking dope. Don't even question it. Nick said he wouldn't go see it. No, I had never said that. I actually said I'm definitely going to see it. He said he hates Charlize Theron. <laughs> She's a shit actor. And her best movie was There's Something About Mary, which is ignorant because she wasn't even in that. That was Cameron Diaz. Man. How, do you, how do you do that, man? How do you confuse Charlie? I need Starin? to figure it out. Like everything, I need to figure it all out. Clarissa explains it all. She doesn't know about what you just said. That's true. Unless she also can time travel, which she can't. That's the sequel that never got greenlit. What is the? How do you get to the top track, man? I really don't think she explained all of it anyway. I remember there were some severe gaps in knowledge when it comes to that show. Clarissa definitely did not explain literally everything. This is false advertisement. Yeah. Standards and practices. This is absolutely true. All right, 11th place. Great. And now the power comes from the bottom. I read that in good faith. It's true, though. And it is not a it was not in good faith. It's the speed that comes from the top. Oh, that was not so good. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing all right on this course. Oh, shit. I restarted when there were only 23 nope. seconds left, man. It's okay. Me too. I'm not going to beat my time. Yeah, I shouldn't be sliding up there. That's a real bad decision. It's just people restarting the track. Man. Is that what it is? We're just further in, it loops back around itself? I guess I'm so. actually last. You gotta Tied jump as 13. soon as you hit 90 degrees on the slope. Nick, you're not even on the screen. I'm 14th, tied with Queen Elizabeth II. To do the last jump, you need to take the bottom path. You didn't hit it at exactly 90 degrees. I don't know, I don't know what that means. What does that mean, play us out? Hey Chad, if you have comments about the lineup and stuff with the NLSS, I made a thread today. You should go check it out and uh, leave your feedback. I'm reading all the comments. Oh my god, turn down the AC is crushing it, man. Oh no, my momentum. Do you think Queen Elizabeth II has a Steam avatar for when they play Counter-Strike that's, like, literally Queen Elizabeth II? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, surprise, surprise. Snickle Sauce is the new number one. I just straight up missed a jump and fell in lava. <laughs> that's how you know it's not your day. Oh, baby, yeah, a so subscriber. Baby, a subscriber. Coid Water, thank you very much for the subscription. Having a nice little quiet afternoon playing Action Hank. I appreciate it. Okay, it's, a, it's an average of about 33, 34 seconds, Nick. All right. So that we can pace it out for our... As far as I'm concerned, we're a team right here. I thought... Well, we do need a team up, I yeah. thought there was another track down there. There's not. All right. Sixth place. It's a good start, I guess. That's not bad, go with that. 
Not comfortable with that. Starting over. I'm gonna guess your dog. Feel free to link the uh, the thread if you want in chat. Oh. I think I fucked it a little. That's all right. Oh no! It's all right. I gotta stop sliding on like neutral ground, you know? Yeah, you're right about that. That's when you gotta run. Fuck, I missed the jump again. This course is too long to miss it at the end. <laughs> Somebody's just standing still. Yeah, they're trying to run into people the opposite direction. NASCAR <laughs> style. I need to get this first jump. There we go. Eight. Oh man, that's the worst. When you do better, but you still like drop position because people pass oh. you. Right. Here we go. All right, how do you guys do this? You jump? Somebody took a jump there. I don't know if I'd recommend it. Hmm. Oh, it's, it's very close here. Thank you very much, Will Fork. Three months in a row on the subscriptions. Let's get a big old pile of Yahas, please. Eight, man. man. Oh, Snickle no. Sauce has a 29 second time. Yo, Let's there's, there's like a four second difference here between our times and his time. This is reminding me of Marvel Blast Ultra back in the day. <laughs> I watched the replay, a dude freaking just phases through the wall, <laughs> just goes to the exit. <laughs> That's absurd. How did he do it? Oh, here we are. We're back at like the starting courses. Oh no, we got grapples. Doing grappling hooks now. Oh, dude, I love grapples. I understand grapple meta. So here's the secret that I think with grapples: you always want to like dip as low as you can go. So you want to go like super low, and then look at that. Look Not at that. Look at that. Look at that, I'm, I'm even, I'm getting uh, one up on Snickles from time to time. I think I got a chance on this one. All right, good luck. Grapple meta's big, man. You can't aim it, right? You don't need to. Oh, I should probably- you can bend the angle. I should probably, sh uh, you know, actually still use slide, but I got this, man. Get ready. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking top three here. Yeah, you know what's stop telling me what to do. Get low. Oh, it's good enough. Good enough to fall down one. You just told him your secret. Get out of here. It's Nick. You gotta use the grapple at its lowest point. Ideally, I did that, but I don't know if I could do it. Reliably. Like you never want to get up. Like you never want to have to go up on a grapple. All right, I just improved to eight. Like the more time you spend in the air, the more fucked you are. Seriously, this plane needs to fuck off. <laughs> Press X to hook, man. I get it. Oh, Rockley Smiles, a new number eight. Oh, I didn't even need to hook on the last one. You just jumped it? I just straight up jumped it. I think you get extra speed, though, when you when you hook. We'll see about that. Look at the speed boost there. Good lord. Oh, I think I maybe spent a little too much time in the air there. I don't want to race Bitsnap in this game, Kate. He's too good. I saw him on our leaderboards, and it wasn't even like a competition. Snickle sauce. He had times that didn't make any sense. How'd you pass me there? Oh, what a... Oh, Snickle sauce just broke the meta! Did he go top somehow? No, I saw it. I saw what he did. Did he do the leaning dragon? Oh, I did. can't repeat it, but I saw what he did. Not because it's bad, I just can't do what he did. He did the leaning dragon. That's what he did. I don't think that gives you any more time, Snickle Sauce. All right, I'm 14th again. No, 13th. That didn't give me any extra time. I'm so mad. 
Oh, dude, that, we gotta do this one again. I don't think that's an option. Have yeah, we gotta do it again. The platform. Okay, we have to go back to the island. Oh fuck! Eight. Last fucking place. Eight. I saw it. I saw it. I thought you knew about Hook Meta. No, but he broke it open, man. He broke it wide open. I don't believe you. In he, you're saying no hook on the last jump. He did a double hook, like he, the second jump. He did a, a hook yeah, big enough. Yeah, he continued the second to the <clears> third, right? He skipped that whole platform. Exactly. Thus I did giving, that one too by accident. It gave him so much gravitational, like potential. He just shot like out of a cannon when he adjusted his uh, his vector. Shoot him out of a cannon in a second. All right, one of these days we're gonna get it. I'm not that good at this level yet. <laughs> yeah, double hook, man. There we go. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. And he'll making a lost reference. Yeah, he does that from time to time. Okay, I get Helps it. Helps that his wife's name is Kate. Exactly, that's, it's very easy. And my name is Matthew Fox. My name is John Locke. Just don't tell me what I can't do. Go back to the island. That's, That's what, what he says. Do. He says, "Don't tell me what I can't do." Ah, oh, one of these days I'm gonna get it. Don't be mad, Chad. Just give it a minute here. I'm, I oh, promise I hate this freaking ridge. Promise in the end it'll all be worth it. There Told we you. go. Now I haven't seen the back half of the course, so I don't know what to do. Oh no! hoo Fuck me, I improved my time and I'm in last. <laughs> well, no, you're not in last because I haven't finished yet. Alright, I'm in 14th. Last that it shows on the leaderboard. What about this one? Third! It worked! The gambit worked! Oh shit. Oh, I'm in the clutch. Well, that wasted a lot of time. Okay, let's do this. Yo, I understand this game now. I don't. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, last chance, last chance. This is it. I'm getting it. I used to be fast. I'm getting it. Oh, fuck. Okay, last chance. <laughs> Nick, there's some good stuff in this in this map. I like it now. I haven't seen this good stuff you keep talking oh, about. Oh, shit. How long is this one? Uh, like 22 seconds. Okay, we can do it. Actually, 18 according to people that are good at this. Oh, damn. No! Seven... That's all right. Yeah, I hit the ridge. I can live with seven. <sighs> Still, that's yeah, good. I can live with sixteen. <laughs> I need oh. to grapple longer. I thought the point was to grapple as short as possible. No, man, you got it totally backwards. You grapple with as much gravitational potential as you can get. Chad, don't be mad. This top seven is like where I want to be there. My thumb hurts from using the D-pad here. Gotta go to the analog, the analog stick. stick. Yeah, I have to. I'm pushing too hard. If I make tracks for this, will you play them? I don't know. I can't promise that. What's the timeline like? They're gonna be done like tomorrow? Nope. I don't know. If they're Definitely in, not. If they're in like two years. I, I can't necessarily promise this. Alright. It's all about good grapples, man. It's not hard. Definitely losing a lot of speed there. Yeah, okay. That was weird. What? I didn't expect to go through that way.
Was that good? Did I do good? That's got to cost me a lot of time. Okay, I, I see what we're doing there. Oh, never mind. I'm in second. Oh, that's not good. Oh, so I the got trick it. here is I got to get more creative with this thing. I got this. I got this. Yo, grapple met is easy, man. See, you just do it. Whatever you should swing up that whole way. You just do it. Makes it sound so easy. It's not hard. You just do it. That lost me a little time in there, but I liked it. You gotta jump before that, dog. You gotta jump before that. I am the dog here. No! I can live with this. All right, we got some time. We got some time. Eighth. What's up with these people jumping right off the bat? You think they're in the right? Yes. I agree with them. And I'll just imagine it's Casino Royale. I'm not any good at Casino Royale. I'm good at SS Royale. How do you do that one, you know? Maybe you go actually up. I'm going too low. Cost Why me like a million seconds. Like, I'm the best in the world at that part right there. There's just not even a question. All right, we're gonna have to redo it. We gotta redo it. Oh, I got it. Okay, go, go, go. Go, go, go. No! No, I've completely fucked it! Okay, we might as well at least practice. Yeah, you gotta get the... Nick? Nick. I did an awful thing. It's all about the high path at the start. Did you know this? Yes. That gives you the momentum to jump down. This is correct. I could be in first place right now, but I didn't know that in advance. And as Have you been doing the top part through the middle? Mm-hmm. Where you grapple instead of ride up? Yeah. Constantly. Yeah, I choked pretty hard. I had a really good run, and then I just kind of floundered on the last hook. I didn't know which direction I was going. Oh, dude, just... this this map is so fucked. You start this one by just dropping down instantly, like, 100 feet. I may not have played this one. This is Looks all about it. It's all about hook mana right here at the start. Get ready. It's like... It's what like... the fuck? <laughs> Something okay. like that. No, I did play this once. I remember now. You gotta get like the first huge uh, hook to get up to the top level, I think. I'm glad at least a couple other people went into the lava with me. Oh, that guy got a huge bonus there at the end. Okay, so you should like ricochet off this. It's a rough level. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's not an easy one, that's for sure. Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> so funny over there. Have you finished this? Yeah. How'd you do? Uh, well, at the time I was like fifth, but I don't think it'll hold up. Yeah, 11th now. 13th, man. I think that's the shit right there. Look, I'm never gonna be number one with that time, but I can be in there. I can be a part of the conversation. You gotta get in there. We in there? Oh, I almost made, I almost made, it. yeah! Okay, Nick, I can do this, man. The key is you gotta go fast. Nah, dog. The key is you don't even go for the top path. I never did. The top path is for fucking dreamers. I'm not a dreamer, I never have been. Yo, you don't just show up at the gym and try to, you know, set the world record for powerlifting. You gotta start with the amateur hour stuff. I don't wanna set the world on fire, I just wanna start a flame in your heart. Oh, I fucked it! Why? Yes, number two! Whoa. While you're there, could you tell me who he works for? <laughs> number two, I think. 
Number two doesn't work for himself. He's not self-employed. I gotta look at his taxes. He was temporarily. Oh, number six. Okay, I know how to do this now, though. That's not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm a fighting dreamer. <laughs> it's a Naruto reference. We can do this. We can do this. Another key moment is nailing that final moment through the gate. Obviously. Instead of floundering there, because you can do it smoothly and get a ton of speed. That's nah, not good. Oh! It was so close. It was so close. I don't know why oh, I have tempting. a full, basically a full fucking second lead on myself, but I'm not going to finish. I right. could have done it, man. Third. I could have done Didn't that one. That. Did not expect third. I gotta go back to all these freaking, uh, congratulations. I gotta go back to all these levels, man. I could have made, I was so far ahead. I was like a second ahead. Could have been even better. What is this one? Oh, I make this look good. What is this? Just spam right bumper. Why is everyone talking? You ever hold right trigger in this? Never. I'm not even sure it's so loud. I don't even know what? what's... I don't know it if I ever saw there. this level. I gotta... This is one where I don't want to be around ghosts. I never want to be around ghosts. Too spooky for me. Yeah. Fuck you, Ray Parker Jr. I am sort of afraid of some ghosts. At least the evil ones. I'm afraid of Slimer, too. That guy's freaking creepy. Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you do that one. Oh, gross. That last angle's so dumb. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, Kate's got the meta right. You gotta finish first so you can see the track. Doing too badly. I'm sixth, I can live with that for now. Third. Wow. It's not gonna last. How do you do? <laughs> oh yeah, that took some time off. Chad, don't be mad just because I'm top. 50% of players worldwide. Oh shit, that took a second off? Whoa, second place. Took a second off is my favorite James Bond villain. Did he throw his shoe, his hat, or his teeth? No, he was just slightly faster than James Bond. Oh, that's all he really needs. I didn't even think James Bond was really that fast. There's some pretty bad Bond villains, man. I know. Like that dude who had uh, a bullet in his head so he could die at any moment? That's not really like a superpower. It's like a Sherlock thing, isn't it? Well, you know, the world is not an update at first. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Well, no, because they're like the stories of Sherlock Holmes. No. <laughs> Those are older. I'm still ahead of my previous time? That seems bad. So the secret to this one is don't run along that big hollow section. Just hook right up as soon as you can. What, what big hollow section? Toward the end, there's like that big empty wooden oh, area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Just hook right up. Don't wait. Yeah, the don't hooking, the... It's, it's the concept on this one is very simple. It's the execution that's difficult. Nah, I don't think this is going to help me. Okay. Yeah, Iron Man did it first, apparently, before Sherlock Holmes. Well, my time kept me there for a second. This is a tough one, man. All right, I'll take fifth. Nick's peeking. Still not really that good at the hook meta, but it doesn't feel as solid as it does in speedrunners. I agree with that. There's no, like, spring to it when you grab it. It just yeah. kind of... What I would like is, uh, got a ghost fast, oh no. What I would like is um, more levels where you get like a sweet ass momentum on your hook and less puzzly stuff. Mm hmm. 
This looks pretty spooky right here. You ever do this level? This is a spooky Unity Engine logo. <laughs> oh man, that goes on fire. It's especially spooky because the game's made in Unreal. Whoa! I still don't understand how you jump on those. Turn down the AC, would you care to illuminate me? What the actual F in the hell? Nope. Ruined that run. What was I supposed to do there? So when you screw that up, you're just boned? Okay. I'm first in the world. Easiest course of my life. Especially that part right there. I think I'm very skilled at that. The trick is you, oh, have, okay, there it is you have the best person to ghost in front of you. And your life's right. going to be easy. I'm a little worried that I was going to screw that up the second time. I didn't, thankfully. Which one? The weird hook-shaped loop. Mm, yes. I didn't know what to do about that, so I just kind of screwed it up and then floundered for a while. Even Sickle Sauce doing a little jump there? I still... The fucking jump there is so stupid, man. I hate those, like, entirely vertical jumps. Yeah, me too. They're not even satisfying to do. So if you're good enough, you can skip the weird hook jump. Just yeah. go straight up. This guy's always talking about hooks, but there's no hooks. Huge problem. He'll be last by the time this is over. That's definitely not gonna happen. But I might not be on the podium. I'd like to be though. Nope. That was awful. Now I'm a second behind. How did I do that stuff, man? I know that TV is really spooky. I lost time with my perfect jump. It's the rise of the imperfects. That's why. Oh, don't slide up. That doesn't work! The dream has been disconnected. Oh, we can do it. Sure hope so. Oh, I did it. I have a new top time. But it's fourth. Not good enough. That's not Try adequate. Again. That's not gonna do it. I don't understand these slopes, man. I think the main problem here is that I was a little bit taken off by all the ghosts and stuff. Like, it was really messing me up because I was scared. Fuck all 90 degree slopes. Oh, yeah. The second one, though, especially. First one I got, second one didn't really One dude beat us by like three seconds. Yeah. There's a shortcut. The shortcut makes it super easy. Dang it. I didn't see the shortcut. Take out all the 90 degree jumps and all the shortcuts. I'm really liking this right bumper span. It does help. All right. I have I've done some empirical analysis, and I think that jumping is definitely the smartest move off the bat there. Somehow I just intuitively knew what to do there. That's good level design. I don't know if that was the right path, but... Go up or down on that one. Oh, I feel weird going right to left. <laughs> but it works out. Alright, that's not a great time. Alright, let's follow some people. Learn some stuff. Where are you going, chat? You going high? Could have gone high there. Should I have gone high? Might have saved me Doesn't matter time. what your actual name is. If you're playing the game with us, you're chat. Yeah, this is exactly <laughs> true. That's, that's gonna hurt. Alright. Here we go. We got some guy with a custom skin, so we're probably good. Is it Sanica Patrick? I will slide up if I desire to slide up, okay? What do you think? Is this one bad or better?
Seems like a half second better. All right. Uh, eighth. Makes you feel better. I'm in ninth. Oh, you gotta go top there. Okay. Wish you told me that before I committed. Have you tried the first spring yet? In case that's better. Yeah, yeah. I think the first spring is. I would recommend it. Okay. So you just like don't jump. And then just accept your fate. Yeah, it sort of works. Eleventh. Oh, but then it's all about like, how do you get that upper path, man? Because that's where I'm losing all my time. I can't tell my brain to not jump there. It's very difficult. Got to have more speed for that section. There we go. Okay, what? Oh, what if you hit that spring, though? Is there something... He got so far ahead so quickly. There's a very particular way I'm sure you're meant to do that. Oh, that is faster. First spring OP. Oh, I got top path. Top path's awesome. Like on the, the hook part? Yeah, the whole thing. Just got to fourth. Wow. I figured it out. How'd you do it? First spring. Yeah. Follow that to the top spring, and then stay up. That's You'll the, have extra momentum. It's the least helpful advice of all time. It's to the left. <laughs> First spring, up to the top spring, and then you have the momentum. That's how I've been doing it the whole time. I've never gotten the upper path, man. You just didn't have enough momentum. Exactly. There's something missing in between. It's because you didn't use top It's like, how do you become a millionaire? Oh, just get a loan, start your own business, then you're there. You're missing the in-between <laughs> part. We've talked about this before. The need of this directions need to be more specific if you want to get a job at Brady Games. Well, you should probably play a lot of Dark Souls. Just remember, Nick, first is the worst. Oh, I know. You don't have to tell me that. Uh, this looks like it's got a loop-de-loop. Oh, there we go. Okay. I remember this Your one. Your chat now. pissed at me now for not helping you? I don't think so, no. <laughs> they differ, you know, they vary in who they're pissed at. <laughs> Sometimes it's me. Just get a feel for this course first. Definitely cost myself, like, a lot of time there. Oh, God. That's a lot of loops. Yeah. That's a lot of loops. Whoa, you get, like, really fast by the end of it, though. Does this even have the technology that they had in Sonic? Because I don't know how they can buffer that many threads. Let's do this. Ah! I almost made it. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? <laughs> I don't like this one. Here we go. That's a lot of loops rain stick. Oh, I know. I know all about the rain stick meta. That's like what Rob says. Yeah, that's Rob meta. Except he says nuts instead of loops. That's oh, why. my fucking urethra. Shit. This is where we give up, man. Oh, this is where I give up. I think we've been overtaken I'm by our 16th. friends here. 16! It's a big deal. 18! Are there even 18 15. people in the game? Nope. <laughs> they added more just... I'm like below <laughs> last. Oh, that's a good one, though. Nope. Yeah, this is it right here. Chad says you should get your urethra checked out. Oh, this is it. Oh my god, I cut three seconds off my last time. It's like way better. I didn't even know that was possible. Oh shit, there we go. Back into seventh. Alright, finally fa found top. This game rules all of a sudden. Turns out, I just cut off three seconds. Yeah, dude, top meta is pretty good, huh? Top meta is the only meta. Not Urethra Franklin, that's someone completely different. Need more speed. Nope. Once you botch top, it's over. Yep, this is very true.
Dude, I can't believe I'm gonna be happy with ninth, but I'm gonna be happy with ninth. Oh, that's, we're fucked. Just enjoy this little limbo. Mess up people that are trying to get through here with the same skin. But will I make it? All right, it's 6.03. Nice job. I'm okay with that. It's 6.03, we should end this. If you want that to. That is the dude from the It crowd. That's Richard Aoti on the top of the podium. Richard Aoti is a sauce. Well, it's more of an emulsion, really. <laughs> All right, Nick, why don't you take a second to pick oh. your channel? <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for hanging out with us for today for the NLSS. We do appreciate you being here. If you want to check out more about my stuff, you can head on over to youtube.com slash rockley smile. I got videos of Beatles and explanations of things and uh, The Witcher as Tony Hawk Pro Skater. All kinds of great shit. Go over, check it out if you like it. Feel free to subscribe. I appreciate it very much. You can also find me on Twitter at, at rockley smile. Uh, feel free to follow over there so you know when I go live for streams here on twitch.tv slash rockley smile. And, uh, you know, leave me a follow too if you like it. And there will be more. I'm, I'm going to probably play some more Bloodborne soon. So check that out. Windows, I'll probably keep streaming. I would never like for you to wait for a solution to the problem. Always close right away. <laughs> I agree. Thanks for watching. The NLSS every, airs every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, 3 to 6 p.m. Pacific, except for Wednesday when it airs at uh, 2 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, an hour earlier. Thanks to everybody for watching, and thanks to the subscribers. According to MoveOut, we got Twistins, Ty Lord, Marco69, Small Fry the Drunk, Triple Dipple, Docking Dude69, Operator7016, Anti Northern Lion, Almost Potato Chip, The Play to Win, Ivarba, and Cold Water. I missed out on a lot of those somehow. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. Nick, you're going to continue streaming? Yeah, I think so. What are you going to play? I think maybe I'll just boot up Bloodborne. I may need about 10 minutes or so to get set up, but no big deal. All right, I will host Nick. Kate and I will Thanks. be playing probably... Kate, are we playing Rebirth? Wait, one second. Hey, Kate! Are we playing Rebirth? Okay. We're going to be playing Rebirth at uh, 9 p.m. Pacific, which is two hours and 56 minutes from now, over at twitch.tv slash lovelymomo, so you can go uh, see that uh, if you want, and uh, you're still up in a few hours. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you then. Give us your game ideas over on the subreddit. NLSS Circle Jerk on Reddit. Dot com. NLSS Circle Jerk on Reddit. Dot com. <laughs> that is not the...